everybody it's me Molly or Love Horseback as many of you know me and today I'm going to give a review of the new summer film of the new summer uh, mother nature film into the storm now I this movie just came out about like two days ago it came out on August day so it came out on Friday um, I unfortunately couldn't see it on opening day but um, I've read the reviews and most of the reviews said that it was good um, I mean, I read a couple of reviews that were kind of bad, but I want to give off, like, what my first thoughts are and what I thought the movie was. So, I would say that Into the Storm was, I would classify Into the Storm as Twister on steroids meets Vantage Point. And what I mean by that is that, um, if you guys have seen, like, the 1996, uh, ver um, film Twister starring Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. You'll know that, um, it's about, like, a group of storm chasers who want to, who, uh, chase and film tornado, and capture tornadoes, and they want to help improve, and by doing that, they want to help improve the warning systems. This one, I think, definitely implies to that, and, but what makes it interesting is that they also managed to, um, not only did they manage to does it focus on, like, the storm chasers? It also focuses on, like, another, um, family. And this is what I mean by coming up to, like, the vantage point thing. And you guys have ever seen that film. Um, where, like, um, slightly going off topic here, but in vantage point, if you guys have seen it, it's, uh, basically, like, a movie where, it's basically a movie where, um, it's about, like, a, it's about, like, head citizen like assassination and the film gets re and the film starts over again but you get to see like different angles of the of what you thought of like what you saw happen so that's what i felt was interesting here i felt like with um into the storm it didn't really focus on just the um on just the storm chasers it also focuses on like a on a family of um of a dad and his two sons. They both go to the same high school, and the dad's the vice principal at their high school. So, um, you kind of get to know their backstory. They've been, and their backstory is that they've been raised by their dad, like, ever since their mother died. Um, so, I felt that that was actually pretty interesting, because, like, not only with, um, the script and stuff, it gives you a really good idea not only um, getting to see like the movie through like their um, different points of view with like the cameras, I thought it was really interesting that you got to hear like the backstories of each of the characters. Um, I don't really know much about the. Um, I would also have to say that it gives you with um, some really good like oh my god like suspense moments of like, um, it gives you like those kind of moments of like. Uh, where the storm chasers get warnings that, like, the tornadoes are about to hit, like, a high school, and you're thinking, oh my god, what's gonna happen to the kids at the high school? Are they gonna make it out okay? Or, like, come are some of them gonna die? Um, so I felt like that was pretty interesting. Um, I would have to say that, um, I have to say that it kinda, um, it would give you some interesting points. I would have to say I had like some small problems. I would say that maybe one of the vantage points of, like, one of the points of view from uh, the film is that it, not only with the film, it kind of falls like two uh, drunkards. I didn't really feel like they were that important. I really think that maybe it should have just been like focused on the. Um, it really should have just been focused on like the storm chasers and the family. Um, but again, that's, like, my own personal opinion, and you guys can have your own opinions about it. Um, I felt like maybe that was a problem. The other problem is that, um, I mean, I saw the trailer, and if you guys had seen the trailer, there's a clip where, um, one of the tornado, where, like, the buses are, like, heading away from the school while the tornado's about to hit, and I'm think, and in the next shot, there's, like, airplanes, and so I'm thinking, 
Okay, how come the tornado can't pick up the buses, but it can pick up the airplanes? I mean, that point just didn't make any sense to me, because clearly, tornadoes are supposed to pick up everything that they see in sight, and they just, like, toss them around. So, I kind of had a little bit of problem with that, not only with the two, like, inimportant, like, amateur daredevils, as they were called in the film. I just felt like those were kind of, like, they weren't really important, um, is how I thought of it. Uh, if we go into, like, the, uh, um, the directing side, Stephen Quayle, um, I mean, I've always seen, like, maybe a few of his movies, but I have to say that his directing did, like, a real, he did a really good job of directing this. He made you feel like, when you're sitting in the theater, he made you feel like you were actually, like, there, like, participating with the storm station, you were actually there, like, with the storm. Um, so, like, you actually got to be, like, so you got to feel like you were in the middle of it. Um, I found that was actually pretty cool, and his work is really good. Um, from, um, the only films that, like, I know that, um, he's done that I've actually seen are, um, Avatar, which he did in 2005, um, Final Destination 5, um, I thought that was a really good movie, um, Titanic, um, although he was in a minor role in that, but I thought he did a good job at, um, assisting with the directing in that with James Cameron. Um, so I thought that his directing in this was awesome. Not only that, but I also thought that the visual effects were, like, really good. I mean, my older brother could probably, like, say, could probably, like, have a better idea of what the visual effects are like because he has a, a bachelor's degree in filmmaking, so... He obviously knows about more about like visual effects and stuff than I do, and camera angles and stuff than I do. But I'd had to say that the visual effects. I mean, I've always seen a few movies where like the visual effects were either good or they were either bad or they were sometimes in the middle. This I felt like they were good. I felt like you could actually feel like you were getting hit in the face with um, the hailstones. I felt like you could actually like. Um, feel like you were getting, like, buffeted around with the winds. I actually felt like you were getting, like, your hair getting, like, splattered all over your face with the rain. Um, I think you also got to feel like, um, you were actually, like, participating, like, with the storm and stuff. I mean, like, when I walked out of the theater, I swear, my hair was still on end because of the movie. I, that was really awesome. I thought the visual effects were, like, insane. They really gave you the actual feeling of you were right in the middle of the tornado, of, like, all the tornadoes in the film. Um, other than that, I th think everything else about the film was good. I mean, I wasn't exactly, I mean, overall, I felt like, um, it gave you a really good idea of some act. it gave you some really good action and suspense. The plot, I think, was average, but what I thought was interesting was that you either got a sense of either stupidity or bravery of how far the storm chasers would go to get a once-in-a-lifetime shot of a tornado. Um, and it also puts you in that bravery of, like, that this is what they do for their lives. They risk their lives to try to um, come up with better warning systems so that they can save us any time these storms come. Um, I thought the visual effects were very stunning, and I had to say, this is... If you're, like, a... If you want to be, like, a storm chaser, I say that you want to watch these films. They'll get you some really good insight, and they'll also get you some really good information on how you can, um, become that. And I, and I honestly feel like this would be a really good film for you to see if you were, um... If you wanted to become a storm chaser, and if you wanted, like, a lot of action, and you want to go for the visual effects and stuff... For my rating, I would give it 8 out of 10 of Funnel Clouds. If I would add Funnel Clouds in, I would put, like, the little icons in, and I would give it on the rating system. Obviously, I can't. I have to figure out how to do that. Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts of what I thought the film was. Um, leave me a comment. Uh, like this video, comment, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys!